Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Pixelmon mod pack in Minecraft. We're going to be going over every single step of getting the Pixelmon mod pack. And what's cool about Pixelmon the mod pack versus just getting the mod is that it also adds in things like Bombs of Plenty and it's all made to work with Pixelmon and work out really, really cool. So it's an awesome, awesome mod pack and it really does take Pixelmon kind of to the next level. Also, there are Pixelmon servers out there that just run off of the Pixelmon mod pack to get all those cool other added benefits like Bombs of Plenty and things like that. So nevertheless, it is awesome. But if you do want to start a Pixelmon server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the easiest way to do it. You can do it in just one click. You can check it out the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. And again, with just one click, you can start your very own Pixelmon server over there. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on Apex. But overall, Apex is truly incredible. A 10 out of 10 amazing server host that we absolutely love like i cannot imagine using anyone else other than apex we've looked around apex is truly the best out there so go check out apex the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to start your very own pixelmon server or any minecraft server that you want but we're here to show you how to install the pixelmon mod pack so let's go ahead and do that First things first, you want to go to the second link down below, and that's actually going to take you here, which is our in-depth guide on downloading and installing mod packs using the Twitch app. Guess what? Pixelmon is a Twitch mod pack, so you do need to download the Twitch app to get it. So once you're here, just click on the yellow download Twitch button. That tutorial that we were just on can be used if you'd like. Um, just search for Pixelmon once you get in Twitch. But the thing is, um, we're going to be showing you specifics with Pixelmon in this video. That tutorial there is just so if I go too fast, you can kind of use it as a reference guide. But nevertheless, once you're here, you want to click on the Download for Windows button on the Desktops apps. And then on the bottom left here, it will download TwitchSetup.exe. You shouldn't need to keep or save the file, but you may have to save it if you're on Mozilla Firefox. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser here. On the left-hand side, we do have the Twitch Setup. Now this is on my desktop and maybe in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, click on that little Windows icon to the top or bottom left of the screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads, and this Downloads file folder in Windows, click on that, and then here you'll find Twitch Setup, drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get Twitch set up. To do that, just double click on it, and it's going to install like any other program. Just click on the purple Install button, it's then going to start installing, and then boom, it's basically done. You may have to click Next or Confirm a few times, potentially, but overall it's then going to open up. Twitch right like so. Boom, there we go. Now you are going to need to log into a Twitch account. If you don't have one, click sign up here. And yes, unfortunately, you do need a Twitch account in order to run the Pixelmon mod pack. It's just kind of how things work, right? You're going to have to have a Twitch account in order to play Pixelmon uh, using the mod pack. So yeah, sorry about that, but it's just the truth. Let me go ahead, enter this confirmation, and I'll see you after a quick jump cut. There we go, confirmation entered, and here we are on the Twitch app main menu. Now, you may have to, like I said, you, you probably have to log in. You may have already been logged into the Twitch app. Otherwise, no matter what, you'll land here. Now, once you're here, what you want to do is click on the Mods tab up at the top. And once you click on that Mods tab, it's going to take you to something that looks like this. Once you're here, you want to click on Minecraft. It's great out there. And then click on the purple Install button. It's then going to install Minecraft, kind of set up everything it needs to do to do that. And now it's time to install Pixelmon the Mod Pack. To do that, it's pretty simple. Just click on Browse Mod Packs here. And then in here, oh, there it is. But in here, what you want to do is search the Pixelmon, right like so. And then right here it is, the very, very top, the Pixelmon Mod Pack by Pixelmon Mod. Go ahead and hover over it and click on that purple Install button. And then it will still start downloading, installing, setting up, doing everything it needs to do to get the Pixelmon Mod Pack installed. As you can see, it's not actually that, you know, resource intensive of a Mod Pack. It's only got four mods in it. But you might not sound like a lot, but a lot of stuff is custom configuration and customly configured and made to work well with Pixelmon. And that's the biggest thing. This is a Pixelmon based mod pack, so it doesn't need a lot of fluff as long as the Pixelmon mod is set up to work with everything, which it is. That's kind of the goal. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until this is finished and I'll show you how to launch Pixelmon. There we go. The Pixelmon mod pack is now downloaded. And as you can see, we have this purple play button that has appeared. Now you can click that, but let's say you want to play this in the future, right? After you've downloaded it. To do that, you would go from the Twitch main menu here to mods then you would click on minecraft and then it's going to be in your my mod packs tab here but you can just click on the play button there you don't need to go through and search the mod pack every single time you can launch it from the my mod packs tab right here instead of you know doing that but nevertheless it's now downloading the minecraft launcher it won't do this every time it'll just have to do this the first time you launch up pixelmon but it is going to take it a second and then it will open up right like so now you will need to log into Minecraft. This is going to be using the same Minecraft account that you use, you know, in the default Minecraft launcher. The reason for that is because this is the default Minecraft launcher, right? It's just launched through Twitch with just the, you know, Pixelmon mod set up, right? That's kind of the, the whole thing there. So let me go ahead and enter in my information and I'll show you right after we click login. So once you've logged into your Minecraft account, it will immediately jump into Minecraft Launcher here, where down here in the bottom left, you should have the Pixelmon Mod Pack. If you don't have that there, click on it, and it should say Pixelmon Mod Pack in there. Last but not least, if it doesn't say the Pixelmon Mod Pack in here at all, 
just close out of the launcher and then click the purple play button again. Now it's going to open up Minecraft and it should have the Pixelmon mod pack in there. Now you may need to add more RAM to this mod pack. To do that, you can click on the installations tab up here at the top, hover over the Pixelmon mod pack, click the three lines over here at the right, click on that and click edit, and then click on the more options tab. Then here you'll be able to see, by default, XMX3228 is 3 gigabytes of RAM. If you wanted to up that, you could up it to 4 gigabytes of RAM. And I'll just be honest here, you don't need more than 4 gigabytes of RAM for this mod pack. Truthfully, 3 gigabytes of RAM should be good, which is what it is by default. And I'm going to leave it there. But if you do need to add more RAM, that's where you can do it by changing this first number to the amount of RAM you want. If you wanted 6 gigabytes of RAM, you would put change the 3 to a 6, right? Like so. Now let's go ahead and change my resolution just so we can see better in game. Click Save. Go back to the play button, make sure Pixelmon selected there, which it is, and click that green play button there. Now Minecraft is going to open up with the Pixelmon mod pack installed. Pretty awesome stuff, pretty quick, pretty simple, and pretty easy. This is not a difficult process to get this mod pack set up, it just isn't. Full disclosure, one of the easiest things to do in Minecraft these days, in my opinion, as far as mods go, is actually install mod packs because apps like Twitch and Technic Launcher and, you know, FTV's Launcher and all that stuff take care of it for you. You don't have to worry about it. They take care of everything for you. All you've got to do is get the launcher downloaded and basically set up. And then from there, it's just literally clicking download on whatever mod pack that you want. But as you can see, it is downloading even more stuff. So I'll do a quick jump cut until it speeded right on up. I always like to keep this rolling live until you can kind of see that, yes, this is working. Nick's not lying in any ways. I hate when people do that. I don't know why. <laughs> YouTube comments usually don't bother me. But I, for some reason, that does. But nevertheless... We're upping the, or opening this up here, and boom, right like so, we can see that we are definitely in mod in Minecraft. We've got loading and mods constructing and all that stuff. We've got Biomes of Plenty there, Pixelmon right there, boom. That's showing that the Pixelmon mod is installed, and this can take a while. It's not going to take as long for this mod pack as it will other mod packs, but doing a jump cut here is just necessary. There's no way around it because it does take it a minute. So if you do have a sound on in-game, I just turned it off because it's kind of overwhelming. We all like underlay our own music under these videos, but the music in this is custom. When I mean, you click on the mods tab here, you'll see all the mods that are installed. Bombs of Plenty, as you can see, Bombs of Plenty patch. I think that kind of helps link it to Pixelmon. Then we've got Pixelmon there. Journey Map, Game Shark, all of that stuff. But nevertheless, we can do things like play in the multiplayer. And as you can see, these are all Pixelmon servers preloaded into the mod. So if you are looking for a Pixelmon server, look no further than right here. You know, these are preloaded into the mod, so we can go ahead and join these. I have no experience with any of these servers whatsoever. Full disclosure, just telling you that. I actually do have some experience with Complex, so, you know, we can log in here. Uh, just in the regards, I have featured them on list before, I believe. But overall, this is a Pixelmon server joining right on in. We can click up here, and we can see all of the different Pixelmon servers that they have. There is a lot of them. We can go and like Pixelmon Yellow if we wanted to, and boom, we are loading right on in. Awesome stuff. So this is a Pixelmon server. This is a fan-made mod, all train barks, so on and so forth. We can continue. I'm going to pick Charmander, begin your adventure. There we go. Boom. So we've got things like Pokeballs, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Potions, all sorts of stuff in our inventory, kind of ready to go. We can put on running boots, all of that awesome stuff. Now, if you do want to play single player, you can do that with this mod pack. So you've got all these different servers that you can choose from, which is awesome. But we can also jump into single player and do, you know, like a single player world. And it will work just the same. So nevertheless, we can go ahead and we'll make it creative. And we'll make it biomes of plenty because why not? And then create. So this is going to work just the same. So I'm going to, you know, I... It's recommended you create a back and forth. It's fine. We can go ahead and we can continue. Just continue. <laughs> We're fine. But nevertheless, this is um, this is Pixelmon. Like, this is the Pixelmon mod pack. You can see you can easily join any Pixelmon server with it. Very, very simple and overall great. I guess not any Pixelmon server, but all those main Pixelmon servers that were featured there. As you can see, all trademarks are Nintendo. And is Pikachu on here, or do you have to find? I think you have to find Pikachu. I don't think you get Pikachu. We'll go with Pikachu. I think I said that wrong, but nevertheless, there you have it. I don't know what that is. Oh, there we go. There's a loot chest over here. Let's run and grab it. I'm going to run and grab this loot chest. I, by run, I mean fly and creative. <laughs> but, oh, let's see. No, these are, these are different, uh, these are different, different loots here. Pokeballs. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played Pixelmon. It really is. Let's run over here, grab this one. Boom. So we have just gotten Razor Fang and Echoed Voice. Interesting. So there you have it. That is how you can, uh, set up Pixelmon. Enjoy, have fun on all of these awesome servers. If you do want a server that is like not Pixelmon, but is an amazing survival server, faction server, or skyblock server, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our amazing, incredible server. You will absolutely love it. So again, come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, but there are tons of servers already loaded into multiplayer here if you're a Pixelmon fan and looking for servers. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.